Hey Sagittarius, hope you guys are all doing really well. So welcome to your general love reading for mid-June to the end of June 2022. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Sagittarius. And it is a general reading, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. But if you would like a personal reading, you can find all the information in the description box below this video. And also the roles can be reversed in this reading because it is general. So let's see, Sagittarius, what is going on with you and another person? Second half of June, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. For the situation, we have the Nine of Pentacles crossed by the Chariot. Okay. So right off the bat, we do have Cancer showing up in your reading as one of the main energies here. Um, well, there is an issue here with being independent um, from something. <laughs> I don't know if it is from this connection or you know from a different situation, but somebody has an issue with being independent and it almost feels like... Um, the challenge for that is actually taking initiative. Let's see. For you, we have the Two of Cups, the Six of Swords, and the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so you have love for this person. Um, that's your stance. And I feel like it's not a secret, like this is just how you feel. Um, I feel like you are willing to admit it or you just acknowledge this fully. However, um, you're either trying to distance yourself from this person or you're trying to move away from some kind of conflict or some kind of pain that has been caused by this connection, maybe even both. Maybe you're moving away from the connection or keeping your distance a little bit so as to avoid that, that pain. Um, but it also feels like, you know, there's something here that you are afraid of losing. And so there's a part of you, and this could even be subconscious, that's holding on really tightly. Let's see. I'm also getting, it's interesting because I'm actually getting um, two messages with this Four of Pentacles. Um, the first one is what I just said, and then the second one is that at the same time, it's like you're also holding back. Holding on tightly, but also holding back. Let's see. For the other person, we have the Two of Swords, the High Priestess, and Justice. Okay, so Libra is also showing up here. Um, somebody who might be dealing with a Libra or somebody who does have Libra in their charts. Okay, what is going on with this person? This person um, seems to be holding back as well, at least to some extent. I feel like they are... I can't explain it because I don't necessarily see it as holding back. I see it more of, you know what, I'm just going to ignore, you know, the issue at hand. It's that kind of a vibe. Like, I'm just going to pretend like, you know, nothing's really going on here. It's kind of like that. However, they do have a lot of intuition here about this and about what's really going on. And I do see them moving towards either making some kind of a decision or wanting to correct something. Let's see the potential outcome. We have the Nine of Cups. Okay, that looks really, really sweet, doesn't it? Um, you know, a wish, a desire, um, fulfillment. So it does look like something is working out here. Something is working out here. Let's clarify. So let's see that nine of pentacles with the chariot. The five of cups, the five of wands, ooh, and the ten of pentacles. 
Yeah, it, it's, it's like somebody here is really trying to be independent of some kind of a commitment. It doesn't have to be a romantic commitment. It could be um, work related. Um, it could even be this particular connection. It, it, it doesn't matter, a different connection. But somebody is trying to become independent of that and is having a hard time taking initiative in doing so because hmm, I, there might be a lot of resistance externally, like from the outside from outside of them themselves and whatever this is it causes a lot of sadness um, obviously right whenever we detach ourselves from something you know it's like we're losing that something or at least that's what it feels like so that's what's happening here there's a lot of sadness associated to all of this um, for some of you I don't know if there has also been some kind of a conflict between the two of you where there may have been some kind of an argument and that that has led to a lot of sadness. And again, it's revolving around the fact of somebody not taking some initiative and it could be that this person one who needs to take this initiative um, possibly you know, has that fear of loss or has a fear of the unknown, doesn't really know how to do that. And I feel like, you know, a certain aspect of this is that is understanding that sometimes we don't need to know how to do something just just start just you know do anything and the universe will help to guide the rest of it so I feel like that is actually a lesson here for whoever this is so let's see that two of cups for you six of swords again and the Hierophant, Taurus. Some of you might be dealing with the Taurus or you might have Taurus. Um, and I do get a little bit of that Taurus-y energy actually in <laughs> from your cards up here. Um, yeah, you, uh, gosh, okay, you're trying to move away from this. You're trying to keep your distance. You you want this, it, it's almost it almost feels like you want this either all or nothing. And I'm not saying that as a bad thing. But you, you basically want commitment. You want you know that the full nine yards basically. Um, and if you're not getting it, you're just trying to find some peace here. Let's see, six of swords. Eight of Wands and the Two of Wands. Yeah, it's like you're, I feel like you're moving away from this um, quickly, but at the same time, it's actually, it's like you're not. Um, hmm. Sagittarius, what's going on here with you? Um, yeah, it's like, I don't know if you're seeing that as an easy solution or, you know, maybe it can serve its purpose temporarily, but it's like deep down this two of wands, it's like, it feels like you're moving forward. It feels, it might feel like you are detaching from this person. And I'm not saying that you're not in the long run, um, but it's almost as if you're being asked here to acknowledge the fact that, you know, whatever, how, in whatever way that you're moving away from this, that's not, you're not really moving away from it. I know you acknowledge how you feel about this person. That's, all, that's already here. I've already said that. But there's something else here. Um, there's some kind of an avoidance that isn't really getting you to that sense of peace that you are looking for. And I do feel like you will figure it out, all right? Let's not forget, we do have this Nine of Cups here um, at the end. But this is this here, it's showing up for a reason because it's, it's, it's like Spirit is trying to call your attention to something, some action that you're taking, some movement that you're doing that 
might feel like it's bringing you peace, but then ultimately I feel like, like it isn't. So it's going to be different for all of you. You know, just take that how it resonates, disregard it if it doesn't, but just be open to it as a message. All right, let's see the four of pentacles. Huh. The chariot and the ace of swords. So is this you um, over here trying to become independent of this, but not really taking that initiative? So maybe you're doing it in a way where it's like, yeah, you know, keeping my distance on the surface, but like deep down, it's like you're not. It's coming in kind of like that. And that's why I was getting that double message with that Four of Pentacles. It's like, yeah, you're holding back, but you're also holding on. Which, again, I'm not necessarily saying that it's a bad thing. I'm just saying that there's something in all of this which is keeping you from finding that sense of peace. Sometimes, you know, we just need to completely let go of something a little bit, or at least a little bit more deeply. Let go of it. Um, before we find peace and whatever it is that we let go of, you know, if it's meant to be, it, it will find us. So that's what I'm feeling guided to tell you. Let's see for the other person what is going on with them. Let's see this two of swords. King of wands and the king of swords. Wow. Okay, I see. So this person... Like I said, it's kind of like they're ignoring a situation, they're ignoring um, something or just not really being active. It's like they're being a little bit um, passive or stagnant. And I feel like it's revolving around either some kind of a decision, some kind of action, um, some kind of obstacle that needs to be overcome. But then we have justice at the end, which I feel is like the complete opposite of that two of swords. So moving from this indecisiveness towards making a decision. I feel like, you know, they're just, it's like they're lacking at the moment or up until now, lacking some kind of motivation, um, lacking determinism, willpower, they're just like not doing anything, just ignoring everything's fine. And I feel like that's shifting here. Let's see the High Priestess. The Seven of Wands and Judgment. Yeah, okay, so this person knows, all right, with Judgment being here. Like I said, they're highly intuitive, but whatever it is that they are feeling, they're keeping it to themselves. They're not, they're not expressing it to you. And I feel like it's because, you know, they're in this state of, I don't want to make a decision. I don't want to make a move. I don't want to have willpower. I just don't. It's too hard or whatever. So their intuition is there. I feel like they have been trying to block it out. Seven of Wands. Um, but then judgment. The truth... <laughs> is like smacking them right in the face. They can try to block it out, but judgment won't allow them to do that. So this is them actually becoming aware of how they're blocking out their intuition or what it is that they're feeling or wanting or desiring or whatever that two of swords is, whatever it is that they've been ignoring. Let's see justice for what they're moving towards. Ooh, Knight of Swords and Two of Cups. Wow. <laughs> wow, that's unexpected. What, what, a, what a turn, a twist. So yeah, action here towards truth because that truth, like I said, is the truth is smacking them in the face. And so there's action towards making a decision. Love, right? The connection that they feel for you. So let's see that nine of cups for the potential outcome. 
the Knight of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, and the Three of Swords. Yeah, okay, so there is this potential here that's very, very strong, okay, for there to be happiness and for there to be a wish fulfillment. I do get that it is taking maybe a little bit of time or that some planning is necessary. And I feel like that's why, you know, you're being asked to, um, you know, find that peace. Find that peace within yourself right, you know, now because, because this, you know, it's, it's not happening like tomorrow, right? And it does feel like, you know, there could also be some pain involved possibly for the other person. I don't know. It just feels like whatever this is, it's it's a bit of a painful process. It is balancing out. And like I said, the potential for happiness is definitely here. And I do feel like something is happening during this time period that is um, leading up to that. There are definitely steps that are being taken here. And there's definitely some effort or I see somebody, you know, really giving to this. And I do see it as being this person moving out of that stagnation. Um, but at the same time, you know, just be a little bit cautious of your own feelings. That's what I'm getting. All right, Sagittarius, let's get your final message if this resonated. And we have the Gibbous Moon. You're very close to achieving your goal. Yeah, so it is close, maybe not tomorrow, but it is close. And I feel like a lot of this is also going to depend on you finding that piece. So that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for watching and much love.